welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to go back to uh, the, I don't know which video it was, but the one I talked about charge separation. And uh, this is the same chart. I've just added a few things to it as I'm figuring things out. And I'll go uh, a separate video and talk about this. But right now, what I want to do, uh, we're back to the uh, hydrofo back to the hydrophobic and uh, hydrophilic aspects of the uh, of the battery. And for this, uh, I'm, I've used the uh, paper battery. Uh, for this test because I, I, I can eliminate the uh, electrodes and and I know that it's just the the uh, this is just the separator and and I know that the hydrophobic and hydrophilic substances I'm putting on the outside of it are, are the res are the cause of uh, what we're seeing so uh, in this one we're going to use uh, the, what's the most hy uh, hydrophobic uh, substance you, there is 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 an oil uh, it's because it's nonpolar, so it, it just uh, repels water. So, and this is Slick 50. It's a I had some of it already open, and uh, it's a it's an engine treatment uh, uh, of some type, but it, it's definitely an oil. As and so, what we're going to do is we're going to use that for our cathode. And get some in here, and then we're going to. Just spread it on one side of the paper here. The last time, last, or I should say, the last, the first paper battery that I made, I made it beforehand, and I didn't show you how what I was doing. So this time, I'm going to show you. So we're just going to spread this oil on this side of the paper, and then we're going to. This is titanium dioxide. This is our, and it's got a little plaster of Paris mixed with it for a um, to make it more hydrophilic uh, so we're going to I mean it's already hydrophilic but I'm increasing the I not should say hydrophilic it makes it more uh, alkaline so here we've got now I'll paint that on I hope I painted that on the other side not the same side talking and working at the same time okay so we'll give that just a second here to as well set up I got to fold the, the edge over here so I can measure both sides of it like that and now we'll take our leads and I found out a good way to measure this rather than measure way over here and over here because there's more resistance is to just to just do it like this and try to touch the leads on either side if you can get a, there we go. See, we're now we we're around. I mean, it's jumping all over the place because I have a hard time holding good contact. But you see, it's jumping up over. There's 200, 300, so 300 uh, millivolts doing it that way. So you can see that it's. Uh, and now, just for the hell of it, we're going to throw it between a couple of electrodes, and see what kind of volts we get with current collectors on it. So here's our piece of zinc, and this is the oil side, I think, so it's hard to even tell. We put it down on the, on the zinc there. Or I mean, the, did I do that right? Well, we'll find out here shortly. And then here's our piece of graph oil for our positive vector must alright and here we'll see what our voltage we get alright look at there 1.13 volts that's pretty good from just oil and titanium dioxide not bad huh alright so there's your slick 50 titanium dioxide uh, battery and uh, and you can see that it, it's it's really the hydrophobic and hydrophilic part of it that's really important in batteries. And uh, okay, I uh, will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.